Okay, hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you this beautiful piece of art here. Uh, this is the Ecolette BS40. Uh, my name is Emil and I'm really happy that you're joining me today on this video. This is the perfect Marshall. Or is it? Well, um, you see, this clamped Ecolette BS40 was built in the, f in the same year as the first Marshall, uh, 1963. Uh, the only difference is this was built in West Germany and the, the JTM45 was built in England. So, same year, and if that wasn't enough, there were actually uh, clones of the same amp. Both of them was based on the, the Fender Bassman or the Bassman. Um, the only differences was a couple of tubes and a few minor tweaks. Uh, the Fender Bassman, the, the original amp, had uh, ECC-83s in the first tube and also had six L6s in, in the, the power amp. Um, so the, the Marshall, they had ECC-83s and uh, also uh, six L6s at first. Then they switched to uh, KT-66s and then on to EL-34s. Uh, the Ecolette was actually... Um, they... Um, in the preamp, they used a tube called ECC-808, which uh, I actually never heard of before I, I bought this amp. So what, what the 808 is, it's, um, it's like a ECC-83, but with lower microphonics and, and lower noise. It, it's a better tube. Uh, so this amp uses three uh, ECC-808 in the, in the preamp and the phase inverter and EL34s in the in the power amp. So um, I mean everybody knows the the quality of of German stuff. So this was, was built back in 63 in West Germany and I, I can imagine the standards were really high and like all the components were top class and the transformers and just by choosing this ECC 8808 uh, shows you that there were not like cutting cost, the, it, just top quality uh, components were used in this build. So that's why I'm joking around and calling you this the, the perfect Marshall. Um, we'll, we'll see about that. I, um, this is the first time I'm, I'm playing this, so it's going to be very interesting. Uh, see how, how it uh, compares uh, to different amps. But today I'm just going to do a, like a first impression video of this amp, go through all the EQ settings and uh, oh, by the way, just like the Fender Bassman, Bassman or Bassman, I I don't I'm not sure. It depends where you're from in the world. Apparently, uh, it has four inputs, uh, f uh, one uh, high and low, and then the second channel high and low. So one is more uh, bright and the other is more um, bassy or how you would say it. So uh, I'll try some different um, settings and we'll, uh, we'll hear it. Okay. I mean the first channel, the high input and uh, no pedals yet. So I'm just gonna turn up the volume to like 12 o'clock. Okay, so it's a very clean, very clean amp um, so far. I'm only at uh, volume at five. Let's, uh, let's crank it and see what happens. A 
Okay, so a little break up. That's cool. Definitely feels like a like an old Marshall or a, yeah, it's maybe even cleaner. So uh, I'm guessing this is very close to the the Fender basement. I've never played one uh, from that era, but um, uh, the Fender might even be cleaner than this this amp because uh, of the first uh, first input tube and all. But um, yeah, it sounds it sounds pretty good. Let's mess around with the, the control, the EQ control. So I have the bass set fairly low right now. Let's crank it up a little. Yeah, that's cool. This amp is actually already very bright. Um, let's um, see if I back down the treble just a little bit. or the brilliance which it says in, in German I don't know how to pronounce it but it's uh, it sounds cool so I have the presence set uh, just about 12 o'clock so let's scrap that and see what happens <laughs> This is, um, yeah, definitely uh, a 
first time on, on this kind of amp. It, it's like nothing I've ever played, so it's very cool. Um, I love it. Um, I wonder how it, how it sounds if you try to push it with a tube screamer. I guess it's uh, phenomenal. We'll, um, we'll see. Um, let's just real quick go into um, to the low input and see what happens. And turn the volume on full. <laughs> of a difference uh, from where I'm sitting maybe I'll we'll hear something uh, later um, but it's still uh, distorted maybe just the volume has dropped a little bit so let's go into channel 2 the um, the normal channel uh, which Marshall later calls it uh, the w the first channel would have been brighter and this is more darker so let's see about that okay maybe some volume is good um 12 o'clock volume at 12 o'clock <laughs> Jump to two, which you they did on the on the early Marshalls. Uh, let's um, go into first input and jump like this. All right, so you're supposedly to get uh, even more gain, more volume from from running the two inputs. Um, it's not as much gain as uh, if you would mod this to to get the, the cascading gain which I'm probably gonna try later on uh, at some point but um, it it allows you to to run the both inputs in in parallel uh, as opposed to just just one one side of the tube you're not looping it back so you're not getting uh, a ton of more gain but j just a little bit more so let's see what what happens and of course we're cranking everything. We'll see. All right. Thank you. 
This amp is very clean. It doesn't um, come with a lot of gain, um, but it's a, it's a very old amp, um, so it's, it's to be expected. I wonder if the, the old um, JTM45 had this kind of, the, the original ones had this kind of amount of gain. Uh, if, if someone knows, please, uh, please let me know in the comments or anything. Um, I haven't tried one myself. I know the, the newer ones, the reissue ones, um, have more gain because of a lot of things. But, but the, the original ones, um, I think they sounded uh, kind of like this. So. <laughs> Okay, so enough enough of this. Let's uh, let's push it with a tube screamer and see see what happens. Okay, let's um, let's do the first channel first. Okay, tube screamer on full. <laughs> It's actually, I don't know if you're picking this up, but it's actually emitting some um, kind of noise from it, it itself. So uh, I'm not really sure yet. Uh, let me see if I can turn down the, the monitor uh, level here and uh, check this out. So you can hear the the captor, the fan is, uh, is blowing, uh, but the sound actually comes from from this. Uh, I know that can happen from the captor if you if you run a really really high signal, but uh, it's actually coming from the amp, which is uh, maybe a little bit disturbing, but I, I don't think it's uh, it's that big of a deal. So um, okay, let's uh, that was the tube screamer. Let's check out the. Uh, DOD the the YJM three oh eight and see if we can wake this thing up. Okay. Um. <laughs>
so yeah. Um, I think I prefer the Tube Screamer though, uh, more bite to it, but um, this actually this has more more gain, so you can do more. But I, I prefer the Tube Screamer. Um, let's see, um, let's see what the Tube Screamer sounds like in the the second input. Um, short uh, demonstration of the the Eclat, the clamped Eclat BS40 um, thank you so much for watching if you liked it please uh, subscribe and uh, yeah like the video if you want to see more videos like this I'll see you soon all right bye